So a week ago today, my officers attended the tragic death of young 17-year-old Ellie Gould in Calm here in Wiltshire. Uh, any death will have a dramatic impact on a community, but nevertheless, a young 17-year-old um, taken so, so tragically in such awful circumstances is of course going to have such a dramatic impact on her family, on her friends, on all, that knew her, all of those that knew her, and of course into the wider community. Part of the role of Wiltshire Police is of course to investigate the circumstances and we have now charged a 17 year old man who was known to Ellie um, and in light of the fact that he has been charged of course we won't be able to talk in any more detail about the circumstances of that, that will be preserved for a courtroom in time to come. Uh, I recognise that um, this will be hugely traumatic to all of Ellie's friends and her family. I personally haven't met Ellie, but all that I've heard about her is she was an upbeat, positive, enthusiastic young lady, um, very talented in a number of ways with a whole life ahead of her, which makes this so much more sad and so, so tragic for everybody involved. Uh, of course, I want to pay tribute to the way the local school, Harden Hewish School, has handled this really unprecedented incident for them. Uh, the school and the leadership of head teacher Lisa Percy opened the doors for all students, for parents and for staff to come over the bank holiday weekend to pay their respects, to think, to reflect and to take a moment really in a place of sanctuary. Um, Lisa with our support um, organised a number of support agencies to be present, local church, street pastors and many professionals from different agencies to be able to offer support and, and essentially counselling to young people who have clearly been through a very traumatic ordeal. Um, I'm sure, like us today, the school will be marking the seven day period um, with their own period of respect and I'm sure that we would want to, to recognise that as we go through today. I also want to pay respect to the, the way that my force has managed this incident from those that first attended through to the way that we've been able to maintain a community presence in both Carn and Chippenham, being available to offer any reassurance, any support and answer any questions. That will remain in place for the next few days and of course that's an opportunity for you to, to speak to anybody in the Carn area or in the Phelps Parade where we still have a mobile police station. Just approach any questions, any concerns you have, please let us know. So as we go forward from here, um, I think it's a, a moment for us all to reflect on you know, our own lives and what we bring. I'm not just the chief constable of this force, I'm also a father of five and I have children of a similar age to, to Ellie. So I absolutely understand the impact that people will be going through, not just with Ellie's family, but also with the family of the young man that we've been that we've charged. I, I fully recognise it will be deeply traumatic for them too as a family, so I recognise that. I'm sure you'll join me today in just taking a moment to reflect on our own lives and, and perhaps the tragedy that we've, been, um, that we've been working through with a number of our partners over the last week and pay our respects to Ellie's family. Thank you.